Question, how do you keep bananas from turning brown? What's the best way to store bananas long term? Now check this out. These bananas were purchased from the same grocery store on the very same day next to each other on the shelf. Both sets of bananas are over 10 days old. Except we stored these bananas a special way that we're going to share with you on this video. Well, hi folks, it's Mike with Kitchen Tips Online, the place where the smartest people on YouTube come to learn new kitchen tips and tricks that help them save time and money. And if you're not a subscriber, check out what you've already missed. Well, there you go, folks. That's just a peek at what we do here at Kitchen Tips Online. Now, if you're not a subscriber and you want to see more videos like this, well, I recommend you subscribe. Okay, through the magic of video editing, let's have a time-lapse look at our experiment on how to keep bananas from turning brown. You will notice a couple of blue pods in the container and I'll explain to you what those are coming up. Day 5 and 6 is when we really start to notice the significant difference. Now keep in mind that these bananas were sitting on my kitchen counter with an average ambient temperature of about 73 degrees. Now by the time we got to day eight, I noticed that the bananas that were not in the container were significantly softer than the ones that were in the container. So at that point, I decided to put those bananas in the refrigerator. Putting the bananas in the refrigerator after they ripen on the kitchen counter allows the inside of the banana, the part you eat, to slow down its ripening. The outside will continue to ripen and it'll get quite dark. And after about 10 days, the bananas that were in the refrigerator were so soft that we decided to make banana bread. Now you will be able to see that on day 12, we still have a little bit of green on our bananas. And by the way, the best way to peel a banana is from the bottom up to the stem, not from the top down. And that eliminates those little strings, whatever they're called. If anybody knows what they're called, please let us know in the comment section. Okay, let's check out day 15. You'll notice there's still some green on the bananas. And when we cut it open, you'll notice a little bit of bruising on the bottom, but that's the weight of the bananas causing the bruising in the container. But as you can see, these bananas are still quite edible. In our quest to find out how to keep bananas from turning brown, we discovered that most bananas sold in the United States come from places like Honduras, Costa Rica, Nicaragua, or other places in Central and South America. The bananas are shipped to the United States on ships in cargo containers. The banana distributor has some elaborate systems in place to control ethylene gas because they know if you can control ethylene gas, you can control when the banana ripens. And I thought, hey, if we can control ethylene gas, maybe we can extend the lives of our bananas. And that's when we discovered this dude, the product that you see on your screen, the Blue Apple Ethylene Absorption System. We'll put an affiliate link in the video description so that you can get your own Blue Apple from Amazon if you like. And remember, whenever you use an Amazon affiliate link, Amazon gives us a little commission and that helps us make more videos. Thanks guys. 